Hey guys, it's Kim Adsit. We're running a few minutes late. We had some potty emergencies with my grandson. But anyway, I'm here to talk to you about this. When kids come up to you and say, I'm done. How do we handle that? Well, during Writer's Workshop, here's what handles it first of all, is this right here. Because good writers are never done. So that's what we teach our children. Um, if you were with my live a couple weeks ago, we talked about teaching children to brainstorm and come up with lots of different ideas. So they're never done. This is a perfect story to show you. I taught this little girl named Arlie. It's been, like, she's in high school now, so it's been quite a while ago. And her mom shared this story with me. Here's what happened. Arlie's mom is a teacher, so she goes down to her mom's room one day after school and says to her mom, Mom, it was the best day ever in kindergarten. I did it, Mommy. Oh, good boy. <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> And so anyway, she said, it was the best day ever in kindergarten. And she said, why? What did you do today? She said, you know what, Mama? Good writers are never done. That means all those stories in my heart, Mama, I get to write all of them. Now, that's what we want to build in all of our kids, that excitement. So here is a series of three mini lessons I do with my kids. So the first one I do is this one. I teach my kids when you think you're done with the piece. So you've worked on this piece and you think you're done. So the first thing you do is you look at your piece of writing and you ask yourself, do I need to add to my picture? Now, when you're teaching this in a mini lesson, what we want to remember is that the most effective way to do a mini lesson is to be the writer for you to actually become the writer. So you need to take a piece of writing that you've constructed with your kids over the last um, week, and you wanna hang it up, and you wanna go in and model adding to your picture. All right? Then the next thing, so that would be day one. On day two, we teach our children, do I need to add to my words? All right? So then on day two, you'll model adding to their work, to your words. Right there on the rug, as you're modeling it, during that active engagement, you want them to have a piece of writing and then practice adding to their piece of writing. And then on day three, we want to show children what are your procedures for starting a new piece. Now, when it becomes application time, this is work time, when kids are going out and building stamina, they need to know that just because you finish one piece doesn't mean you're done. You're going to go through this and then you'll start a new piece. All right? So, are all kids doing that? Are all kids able to take a piece and know to go back and edit to add to it? Well, no. Your mini lesson is directed toward the middle of your class. So, what's going to happen is you're going to have some kids who are already doing this on their own. And then you're going to have some kids who aren't quite ready. And that's why this application time, this work time is so great. Because while kids are out working, you can call small groups of kids who aren't quite doing this yet and walk them through one step at a time in a small group setting. So just remember, you will never have to hear those words again, am I done? if you do this series of three mini lessons. As you can tell, I'm dressed for the gym. I decided I have about 15 minutes to get to the gym when I get done here, so I would just get dressed for the gym and I, you could just see me in my gym clothes. But until later, y'all have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.